Hey everybody, Frank here with a review of King Kong The Great War Issue 3, also known as Chapter 3, The Chasm. So far, been a pretty good series following this crew of the U-boat. Uh, this is considered day three on the island for the crew. Um, this is a really brutal story. I mean, I we've seen crews get devastated on Skull Island before. But uh, I'm telling you, this book really shows the devastation, the brutality of Skull Island. I mean, we see some pretty gruesome things happen in this book. Uh, so far, I've liked the series. Uh, I feel like the books, I don't know, they run so quick. Uh, there's just a lot of action in them. They're really quick reads. Um, I honestly thought this was only going to be a five-issue run, but uh, we're to the point where I think now we're up to... Six or seven have now been announced, so I don't know how long this series is going to run. I don't know if it's going to become an ongoing series. I thought it was only going to be like a mini-series, but I know it's going to be over five issues. But uh, let's get into the story of issue three. Where we last left off, we had seen the crew had once again taken shelter for the night in what was one of Kong's giant footprints and uh, right off the bat this issue opens up with just complete utter chaos. The crew is being chased by this Tyrannosaurus or as it was once referred to in the 1933's movie the Meat Eater. Um, some really gorgeous shots of the crew just running from this thing. It gets to the point where it chases them out onto this cliff that's overlooking the sea and the cliff begins collapsing and guys are just falling off the cliff and it's not looking good I mean people are just getting chewed up thrown off the cliff falling off the cliff and they're kinda like cornered so the captain kinda tricks the meat eater the tyrannosaurus whatever you want to call it into chasing them and they fall off the cliff along with a few crew members to the beach floor and die. And uh, we get to the point where they move on and it's almost like the, the classic Kong Skull Island trope where they have to cross the giant chasm on the log. And uh, all seems fine, but they send the first guy across. He sets up the rope so that the guys could safely hold on to something while they cross. And then a pterodon swoops by and grabs the next guy that tries to cross. And then the next guy gets grabbed. And it gets to the point where they're all just rushing across. Tons of them are falling into the chasm to their deaths. Some are getting taken away by the pterodactyls. They're getting dismembered mid-air. Once again, the crew is having just a brutal time. And then they go, oh wait, some of the guys survived the fall. There's a few down there. Some are injured. They need help getting up. And then we see these giant spider creatures approaching them. And the captain says, don't, don't do anything. Don't shoot because those things will come up here if we shoot. He's like, he's like, those men are already dead. We can't help them. He's like, make your shots accurate if you're going to fire. He's basically saying to put the men out of their misery if you can. And we see this brutal shot here of just a spider claw going through this guy's skull. And these guys are just getting killed. And he takes a shot to try to help ease the pain on some of the survivors that were survivors down there. This guy's just getting his head eaten off. Uh, just... You just see the look in his eyes. You just see the horror that this captain has to witness. Which was odd. We still don't have the captain's name yet. I, f I feel like it's going to be a big reveal. I don't know if I'm oblivious. I haven't really gone onto the forums to see if there's a suspected captain's name. But then they go one more night in hell. And we just kind of see Kong once again overlooking the crew. And, and that's it. It's Like I said, these are just action-packed issues it's just like out of the fi frying pan and into the fire for each issue and then back out of the fire and into the frying pan it's just non-stop just this crew cannot catch a break they get to sleep a little at night and uh that's it 
Here's a little look at some of the covers that they had for this issue. Some pretty sweet cover arts on these. Just some Joe DeVito art here. Uh, just great read overall, you know. Lots of action. Uh, I had seen on one of the previous reviews that like the, somebody had commented saying that oh this is these books are half advertisement they're really short and you know at first i kind of felt the same way that they were short i did a page count it, it's it is about the average 24 page comic i think it they this one i counted it was ran 22 pages so they're not really a short story the thing is it's just a lot of action going on. There's not a lot of dialogue, so sometimes when you have a comic with a lot of action, it feels like it's a shorter comic. But it's it's a normal length comic, actually. I, I I like I for at one point almost agreed with the guy. I'm like, oh, it is kind of a short comic. There is a lot of advertising in it, but really the advertising isn't really taking away any pages. It's a it's just a lot of actions going on, and you don't realize it. So. I'm really enjoying this series. Uh, if you haven't got to read them yet, I, I really recommend picking them up. Definitely check out Dynamite's King Kong, The Great War. Uh, issue 4 is right around the corner now at this point. I've been getting these reviews out a little later. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to The Maze Squad.